Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another uh, Ford Ranger electric update. So I wanted to update on why I wasn't going to be using the Nissan Leaf uh, cell modules that I have uh, for this Ford Ranger electric project. At least not for the traction battery to power the wheels, right? I might actually use these Leaf batteries for something else or a number of other projects and I'll talk about that later when I actually use them and what I'm doing with them. Uh, but I really just wanted to explain why I don't think that they're appropriate for these Ford Ranger electrics in terms of uh, driving the motors, powering the wheels. And so the very first thing is uh, they just don't have the capacity required, right? So I bought a set of 48 batteries, enough for 24 kilowatt hours uh, when they're factory fresh. And there are roughly 66 amp hours. And a sort of rule of thumb heuristic that I figured out for these Ford Ranger electrics is that you can actually estimate uh, the range based on the amp hour of the battery that you're using. And the reason it works that way is uh, if you look at all of the efficiency numbers that have been gathered, uh, Southern California Edison, the power company, did a test. Uh, Idaho Laboratories did tests. And they all found that the everyday driving efficiency of these Ford Ranger electrics was around 315 to 330 watt hours per mile. Now, what's interesting about that is that's almost identical to what the nominal voltage is for the pack. And because capacity is a product of the nominal voltage times the amp hour capacity of the battery cells. Uh, it's a, a really short, a quick shortcut way of saying, you know, if I'm running at nominal capacity, uh, the amp hours is going to be roughly equal to the range. So these Nissan Leaf cell modules, right, they have a, an amp hour capacity when fresh of about uh, 66 amp hours. Now, that means that if I were to put 45 of these in series, which is the max voltage uh, that the Ford Ranger Electric would allow for, I'd see roughly a 66 to maybe 70 mile uh, you know, range based on that. And that's just not enough for my needs. My baseline expectations for range on any electric vehicle are a minimum of 150 miles. It has to be able to hit that in everyday driving or it just really can't even serve my basic needs, let alone any sort of stretch driving that I might do. So these 66 amp hour Nissan Leaf cells just wouldn't provide the capacity that I would need uh, for these Ford Ranger electrics. In order for them to do so, I would actually need to have probably three sets of 45, at which point I would run three sets in parallel and then 45 in series, and then that would give me enough range, uh, just short of 200 amp hours. Uh, but that's a lot of batteries. I didn't have those uh, you know, available. I didn't have three sets of Nissan Leaf batteries essentially available. So um, yeah, just what I have right now wouldn't be worth making into a pack. The second reason is these Nissan Leaf cells are degraded, and they're degraded a lot more than I thought they would be. Uh, you know, when I saw them, I figured, okay, somewhere between 70 to 80 percent of the original capacity. And again, though, right in the Ford Ranger Electric, 70 to 80 percent of the original capacity would then mean I'm only seeing about a 40 mile range, uh, if they were that. Unfortunately, they were less than even that in a lot of cases. Now I'll go into how I tested the capacity, the results of some of the capacity tests uh, in other videos, uh, but I just wanted to say, yeah, they, these are way below what their rated capacity is and way more degradation than I thought, even I thought was going to happen with these battery cells. And you know, that's a really disappointing thing and it makes me sort of upset with Nissan uh, they basically just created hundreds of thousands of throwaway batteries, throwaway cars the way they designed the Nissan LEAF and that's really unfortunate because a lot of this hardware is very solid, a lot of this hardware is really good. Just basic thermal pack management would have per preserved these batteries even if not for EV use, maybe for you know more different kind of second life use. At this point, most of these batteries are really only good for basically recycling. 
Now, the next reason I won't be using these uh, Nissan Leaf cell modules in the Ford Rangers is it's not just that their capacities were low, right? It's also that their capacities weren't consistent. And I think this is a concept that EV owners and prospective EV owners really need to understand. And that is that your pack and your pack's overall capacity are only as good as the weakest cells. So uh, Chevrolet Bolt EV owners experienced this uh, where some of the cells slipped through uh, you know, quality control, LG Chem sent out some cells that were bad. And as a result, you would be driving along in your Bolt EV and you would get to about 30% battery and then suddenly the car would die. And the reason for that is just one cell was enough to cut 33% of the battery's overall capacity out. And so you're basically only going to be as good as the, the weakest cell in the pack. And because some of these Nissan Leaf cells, uh, you know, they tested really low in capacity. I would be looking at in a Ford Ranger Electric, if I were to package my best 44 to 45 of these cells in series and put it into the battery I might actually only be looking at about you know 30 to 40 miles of usable range and that just wouldn't be acceptable right uh, and so you know with that inconsistency within these cells even though it was my understanding that they all came out of the same pack uh, they just wouldn't be usable uh, in in a pack that I created for the Ford Ranger electric and then the fourth reason I, I, I don't really want to try to use these in the Ford Rangers is the Ford Rangers came with a pack designed for the chassis, the configuration for the vehicle. And while these are a good modular design, uh, they don't really work with the way the battery pack for the Ford Rangers was created. So uh, this large square rectangular shape here, the flat shape, it just doesn't fit into the packaging uh, the way that I would want it to. And like I said, in order for me to get enough range out of these to actually make it worth my while or usable in the Ford Ranger, I would need 134 five of these cell groups and to package 135 of these inside the Ford Ranger Electric's uh, battery pack it's just not configured to to support this cell group size in that configuration it just wouldn't work and then finally the fifth reason is I just found a better battery uh, right just better in terms of packaging in terms of size in terms of energy capacity in terms of battery life even in terms of cost and I'll do a video on them specifically because they're deserving of it but even when these were fresh the batteries that I got would probably come close to these in terms of energy density uh, at, at their factory fresh peak performance uh, but they're even cheaper right per kilowatt hour than what I spent for these batteries used so uh, yeah I'm gonna go into that but either way the batteries that I will be using for the Ford Ranger electrics suffice to say that they're far superior to what these uh, Nissan Leaf cells would be capable of uh, and they just fit the overall plan for the vehicle a lot better uh, like I said I'm gonna do a lot of deep dives into the battery that I'm putting together I'm really excited about it uh, and it just seems to to really match the needs of both the truck itself and the rest of the systems in the truck and then my needs and expectations for the Ford Ranger electric as a vehicle or as a personal you know driving vehicle so i'd love to hear what you think what are your experiences with these nissan leaf cells have you had a chance to use use nissan leaf cells for various projects electric vehicles energy storage things of that nature i'd, I'd love to hear your feedback on them if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and thank you for watching